Hey guys, Tom here for Shifter today. Now, have you ever done this on a bike? That was a properly executed left turn. Well, mostly properly, a mostly properly executed left turn. Or what about this? Have you ever done this? That's what we call taking the lane. Now, if you've ever done any of these things while riding a bike, you have this guy to thank for it. This is John Forrester. He died recently at the ripe old age of 90, and he was one of the most influential thinkers about urban cycling in North America of the past 50 years. So why then, upon his death, was he also one of the most divisive figures in cycling in North America? Well, mostly because of this. Yes, this is a bike lane. John Forrester hated bike lanes, especially physically separated bike lanes. He thought they infantilized cyclists. He thought they made cyclists a second class part of the road system. He also claimed without much evidence that they were dangerous. Pretty much every way you could hate them, he hated them. That's because Forrester was the foremost proponent of this idea that we now know as vehicular cycling. So vehicular cycling was the prominent idea around urban cycling in North America for, for 30 years, from the 70s up until about the 2000s. And the primary idea was this, that cyclists should act and should be treated like every other vehicle on the road. Cyclists should behave like motorists and that everybody should obey the letter of the law. Cyclists and motorists should commingle on the road with equal rights. Uh, vehicular cycling gave us terms like taking the lane because that was a way that a cyclist could assert their right and their position on the, on the road rather than being off squished to the side that they could take the lane in the center and assert their rights to the space. Forrester thought this was the safest way to ride a bike. And for 30 years, this is how most thinkers about this sort of thing in North America agreed. This idea, however, never really caught on in Europe. And in a couple of cities in Europe, a different idea emerged. And this was the idea that there was too much risk in mixing 2,000 pound metal vehicles with soft and squishy humans on a bike. So what happened was this. Bike lanes were built, specifically separated bike lanes. The idea, the idea was to keep motorists and cyclists separated as much as possible and make things easy and convenient for cyclists. And if you do that, then people will ride their bikes. And you know what? It worked. In cities like Amsterdam and Copenhagen, the entire transportation network was rebuilt around the idea that cyclists should be given space as well. Cycling was made easy and convenient and fast. And as a result, people used it by the thousands. Back in North America, however, the idea of vehicular cycling was still prominent and the number of cyclists stayed minuscule. Only the very brave cyclists were doing it. By the mid 2000s, however, as cities in North America like Montreal and New York started building safe separated bike lanes and people started using them in numbers much, much greater, exponentially greater than under the old vehicular cycling system, the idea of vehicular cycling faded away. Today, it's pretty much a dead idea. However, John Forrester never really gave up. His ideas were never fully implemented anywhere, and I do think he was a bit misunderstood in his thinking, but today, the idea is dead as a doornail. And the fact that the number of people riding has grown so much over the last 10 years, I think is proof that the European way of keeping cars and bikes separate is better than the vehicular cycling ideas. But I don't think as North Americans, we can disregard the work that John Forrester did completely. Most of us in North America still live in cities with tiny little bike lane networks. There's not enough to make it uh, safe for our complete ride, which means we still end up mixing with cars in a lot of our rides, if not most of our rides. And in those situations, the idea of vehicular cycling still matters. It still helps us get from point A to point B. So until we get a proper bike lane network in all of our cities, and every time I have to take the lane or make one of those proper left turns in traffic, I'm gonna say a quiet thanks to John Forrester and his ideas around urban cycling. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.